Today we're going to be learning about residuals. <laughs> so we've already talked about how to create the formula. Y hat equals the slope 0.583 times X minus 13.867. There's a video on that. Y hat being the predicted foot length, X being the height. So we want to talk about what is a residual. And your residual has the letter E. That means residual in statistics. And that's equal to your actual Y minus your predicted Y. And the first thing I want you to do is take a look and get an idea of the residual just by looking at the line and the value. All right. So if I'm looking here, my residual on the graph is just the distance between the actual point, this is my actual point, and the line, which is my predicted point. So looking from here, this is 20, that's 25. This is probably about 24. This looks like it's about 22. My residual looks to be about two. It's the distance from the actual point, the dot, scatter plot, down to the line itself. We want to look at that first because after we calculate the residual, we want to make sure we have something that looks right. So we want to find something that's about two. So how do I find the residual? Well, we're saying that the actual y is 24. How do I get the y hat? We're going to do 0.583 times x minus 13.867. So here's my x is at 62. So my predicted foot length, this point here on the line, is really 0.583 times 62, my x, minus 13.867. And you guys did that. What did we get for that on the very first? Uh, we got 22.27. So y hat would be 22.27? Nine. Nine. All right, so we have the y from the graph. We calculated the predicted value from the formula, 22.279. So my residual would then be, what did we get for the residual in this? 1.7. Now, going back to what we did in the beginning, we said it looked like it's about 2. 1.721 is about 2. It's not negative. If I got a negative and this looks like a positive, I know I did something wrong. So just the very beginning, we get an idea. We said it's about 2. This is close enough. If I got 4, then I probably did something wrong. If I got negative, that would mean this point's underneath of it. I did something wrong. But based on my initial assumption of 2, that looks fine. 